In the heart of Gabon's capital, Libreville, signs of the coup are still visible, with the usually bustling city centre remaining surprisingly calm. However, a very different scenario is unfolding at the country's largest market, Montbué. Here, residents have decided not to let political uncertainty get in the way of their determination to resume normal life. The market rows are a living picture of resilience and economic recovery. Small and large traders have opened their stalls, offering everything from fresh produce to handicrafts, like this local businessman. The election period was very hectic. A lot of people were afraid given what happened in 2016 when we were scared to death. During the elections we had to finish at 3 or even 2.30 in the afternoon. We packed up everything and went home because there were soldiers all over the place. The president of the transition reassured us by saying that from 6 in the morning everyone should resume their activities. That's what reassured us to come to the market. As Gabon seeks to recover from the political upheaval, the military putschists announced on Thursday that new strongman, General Brice Oligui Ngema, will be sworn in as transitional president on Monday. After almost 60 years under the control of the same family, the country is at a turning point in its history. It remains to be seen how Gabon will recover from this coup d'etat.